You know, it is important to note that Paradise was a town that was pretty well prepared as far as towns go. They had actually thought about an evacuation plan. They had tried to practice it, but of course the people in town saw it more as an inconvenience and largely avoided the the evacuation drill. Um, I mean, not unlike, I mean, think about how annoyed you would feel if you had to practice an evacuation from your office building, right? I think it's just human nature to assume this is just an inconvenience, we won't actually have to use it. And so that's what planners were up against, even as they knew that Paradise was a really, really fire prone place. In all of the planning documents that I read, um, firefighting officials called it the Paradise problem, you know, because again, this town was tucked between two geological chimneys that would just carry fire right up. There were very few evacuation routes and they knew that people were going to get trapped if a major fire were to roll through. And they knew that that was a possibility but it's sort of like planning for the 100 year flood. And so that is something that those in town hall were grappling with, right? It's like, how do you balance the concerns of your constituents, making town a beautiful, safe place to live and understanding that you had a limited amount of money coming in because it was a more impoverished community. Um, You know, it's not like their coffers were overflowing and they could just build another road over the side of a canyon to help people get out. So they were dealing with all of that while also trying to understand, you know, how much do you plan for the 100 year fire? Um, And so I think there were decades of decision making that went into play where people were planning for the fires that they had known in the past. And those fires never burned all the way through town. They were always stopped. And so with that came a false sense of security. And so, you know, there were decisions they could have made that would have, again, it's like impossible to know without looking in a crystal ball, but it seems like they would have made the evacuation efforts during the campfire a little easier and a little smoother. But again, you know, they had these other concerns to look at too. And I think paradise is just so emblematic again of all of these places across California and across the West of how do you keep people safe, but how do you make those hard decisions where the calculus is changing, right? Now you can't just assume that your town will be safe next time because we're seeing fires act in ways that just seem totally unfathomable compared to what we knew a decade ago. And so you have to start putting money in places where you didn't think you would and having to make those really hard decisions of, okay, well, how are we going to get people out? Because that 100 year fire is now, you know, suddenly like a lot more frequent than you would think.